Hello everyone, today's tutorial is going to be on how to make these cute little beanie freshies for fall or winter. This picture here is the original inspiration for these. They were created by Jennifer Lynn Designs and I will be linking her website in the description box below, jenniferlynndesigns.com. In case you are interested in purchasing one of these, head over to her website. Now here are some of mine that you'll be seeing in the video. I did decide to change some things up. I played around with skin tones and different eyelashes. I also included a snowman face that I found that I just thought was super adorable. But there are many other ideas that I've come up with that maybe you can play around with. You can do an alien head with the beanie. You could do a Jack Skellington with the beanie or with um, even a Santa hat. You could use a red sock and some white felt to create the Santa hat or even a jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin with a little beanie. You could really just, any idea you can come up with, these little hats are so cute on just about anything. So the supplies you'll need for this project are your freshie rounds, you can either make these in cookie cutters or molds, whichever way you do it. This one um, I actually used a cookie cutter for but I also have a round mold that was from Hobby Lobby. I'll post the link for that in the description. You'll need socks. Um, in the original picture, those are baby socks. You can definitely use baby socks, but I found that you could find more patterns and designs in the adult socks. Since these are bigger, we're going to have to modify them a little bit more. With the baby socks, you won't necessarily have to do that. You need yarn, glue gun, your cutouts, for your eyelashes or your stickers, whatever you're using, vinyl, pair of pliers, um, either wire or some type of tool or yarn needle, a piece, of, this is just a piece of cardboard, this is going to be used to make pom-poms, and I just cut this out, it's about one and three quarters inches this way. And I just put a piece of tape here so that it, the yarn doesn't get snagged on the rough edges of the cardboard. And then your twine or whatever you'll be using to hang your freshie with. Starting off, we're gonna take our sock, turn it inside out. I'm gonna take this piece of yarn. Um, if you're using chunkier yarn for your pom-pom, I would suggest using a little bit thinner yarn for this part of the project. And I'm just gonna take it and tie it off real tight. All right. And then right above where I have tied the yarn, I'm just gonna cut the rest of the sock off. So this is what we have. Now I'm gonna turn it back around and I've got the first part of the hat. And now we are going to start our pom-pom for the top of the hat. Now the amount of yarn you're going to need for your pom-pom is going to depend on the size of yarn you're using and your preference, just how poofy and thick you want the pom-pom to be. I'm going to let out enough of this that I can go around my little piece of cardboard several times. Okay, I'm going to start with this and see how it looks. I'm just going to hold it and I'm going to start wrapping until I feel like it's got enough thickness for the size pom-pom that I want. Okay, that should be good. I'm gonna cut the end off and instead of using this thick yarn because I don't want it to show once I get my pom-pom tied, I'm gonna use thinner yarn for this as well. And then we're gonna just slide it all off. 
And then we're gonna try to center this yarn in the middle, just like this. And same thing like what we did with the sock a minute ago. We're gonna tie it off really tightly. I'm just gonna check and make sure I've got it close to the center as I can get it. I'm gonna pull super tight. The tighter you get this center piece of yarn, the more your um, pom-pom, the, the ends will come together and, and cover this seam. So I feel like I've got that pretty good. I'm gonna cut these tails off. Then I'm gonna go around and cut all the loops. left in the middle. And start around on the other side. I've got them all cut. So I'm gonna find the bottom. The bottom's gonna be where your knot for your center piece of yarn is. And then I'm going to start shaping it into a ball. So it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but I think I've got it in a good place. I like the way that it looks. Now, this is where you're going to need your wire or your yarn needle. Um, I also initially used this little tool that's actually for acne because I didn't have anything else. This is just a jewelry pen that I'm going to show you. If you just got any type of wire or Dirty material that you can bend. I'm just going to take that and bend it into this little shape. You can do that with floral wire, any kind of craft wire that you have. I'm just going to show different ways to That would work too. You can also do the same thing with this wire. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. And we're gonna come up through the center of this knot part that we have the yarn tied around. If you had a yarn needle, you could actually just go through this side with the needle. I know I've got one around here somewhere. I just do not feel like looking for it. it can be a little hard to find that center so I'm actually going to come this way and then just hold that spot and see if I can hit it I 
There we go. Then we're going to take the tails coming off of our pom pom. I'm going to thread them through here. You don't want to go all the way down. It's going to make it really difficult to pull the strings through. I always just leave it a little bit. I'm going to pull it through. And I'm just going to flip this around. And I'm going to pull these real tight to make the pom make sure the pom pom is sitting flush on top of the hat. And then I'm going to take the tails from where we tied the sock and the tails from the pom-pom and I'm going to tie them together. And I'm going to trim these ends. And now we have the little beanie part. All done. Now at this stage you want to go ahead and take your String, whatever you're using to hang your freshie. I am using this twine, but you could use ribbon. Um, I'm not sure if the elastic line would work as well for this, but you could definitely try it. Excuse the train. I've got that tied. I am going to find the center of the pom-pom and by center I mean where we have tied our yarn or as close to it as possible and I'm going to use this as my front so that when I pull my strings through they tuck into the seam and are a little bit more disguised. So to do this part, you need your little, whatever you use to thread the top. Again, and I'm gonna make this just a little bit pointier. Okay. And I'm gonna Find that seam and we're gonna go in right next to it. I'm gonna push it just right through the sock, not through the knot at the top or anything, just right through the fibers of the socks. And we're gonna thread our first string through. And remember not to go all the way down because it's going to make it hard to pull it back out. Just a few inches on the other end just to make sure it doesn't come off. And then we're going to pull it through the sock. And then we're going to go on this side and do the same exact thing. Find that center yarn. And then go into the hat right near that. through. I'm going to pull both my strings a little tight here to get the hat pushed all the way down. And now we are going to glue the sides of the hat down. I'm going to hang it and make sure it looks straight.
looks pretty good. So I've got the hat where I want it. I'm just gonna fold up the side and I'm gonna put a pretty decent little glob of hot glue there. Hold it back down. Do the same thing on the other side. under the front put a line there and same thing on the back and make sure this thing is secure For this little guy, we are doing the snowman face. And to, since there's so many little pieces and I wanna make sure they all go together and then look the way that I want them to, I'm using, I cut this out of the waste part of the print and cut file. And I'm gonna use that as a guide for the orientation and the spacing on each piece of the face. And then I'm going to just glue each piece down. second to let the glue dry up a little bit before I try to peel the edges off or the excess dyed off. There we have the cute little snowman. I'm gonna go back and kind of secure some of the pieces that are not fully glued down. And there you have the cute little snowman freshie. So here I have another one that I had already done when I was practicing um, how to make the hat. And I just wanted to show you, because the other one was a snowman, this one's just gonna have eyelashes. So same thing with the snowman. We're just gonna hot glue these eyelashes down. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a like. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do that so that you don't miss out on any of my future content.